Hi, welcome to AI Late to Class. Today I'm just going to show the workflow first frame, last frame for WAN 2.2. Um, this is just an adjustment to the workflow with the node. It is not a WAN 2.2 model, unlike WAN 2.1 had a model that was first frame, last frame. This is just a node, so we don't need to download anything else. Uh, this is a really doing what I've wanted it to do for a long time is actually do a proper morphing effect. Um, going back in time I've tried the LTX first frame last frame, the WAN 2.1 model, um, that didn't really do anything I wanted, it just sort of does a real sharp cut off and I've had some sort of transition effects but not really any sort of good morphing as it's supposed to do. Um, also tried frame pack uh, with the Honeying model, didn't really get anything good there. Tried the commercial products, Kling, Minimax, etc. Didn't really get any good results up until now. So this thing is actually good. This is a good product. Um, as you can see there, I've just done the change from green eyes to red eyes. So these are things that I struggle with just a normal one trying to get to do is just make slight changes and I'll prompt that in and it won't it won't do something like that so having a first frame and a last frame is really handy here this is sort of the best alternative I've seen to After Effects so far that actually can do what After Effects can do so I'm going to go through some samples on this just to show things that I can't do in a normal one, 2.1 or 2.2 model. Expanding out the workflow, there's not really much change here. I've just pulled out this one image to video and put in this one first last frame to video node. So that's the only difference um, on that part. And of course I've added an end image there and made the other one my start image that's the only difference so this workflow is the one that i've done in my other one 2.2 um video i'll put a link to that so we don't have to go through the same stuff again as far as where to get the models and all that stuff you can watch that video that'll get everything set up this is just particularly talking about what i'm doing here so in here uh, eyes slowly change from green to red while wind is blowing and the creatures here didn't really blow the wind but it did actually do a good result there. So I did, however, I, the, my images were done in flux context. So they're a slightly different size from each other. I probably would have done it in Photoshop if I knew it would have changed the sizes a bit. Um, that would have been a better way of doing it. Or if you don't have Photoshop, use PhotoP. Um, but then I wouldn't have got that sort of slight bulging head that I've got there. Looking at this house here, I've just got it sort of turning into pencil sketch. Um, done a really nice clean job. So let's just look at those input images. Obviously house and pencil sketch image. And going over to my prompt. Just slowly replace parts of the image with pencil sketch. Um, didn't quite get what I want, but it's still a good nice result versus anything else I've done here. Moving on to the next one, we've got this dog and it's morphing into a human. So I didn't make the dog move, I kept the dog still um, just to see if it would do uh, actual morph into human. Now there's lots of uh, non-AI products out there that can do this and that was, that's been an issue I've had for a long time where I've just wanted a, a, just a normal morph. I've struggled in AI to get a good morph, even with the commercial products, I just haven't been able to get it till now. So it's good to see there's actual a proper morph. Next image, I've had problems trying to get this sort of thing in one before, whether it's a cartoon or real life footage. Just getting an animal walking and sitting down has been very difficult. Getting them walking is okay, sitting down, the camera rotating, but actually having an animal do as I say and just sit down has just been a real struggle so this is the test that i got um so going back over here i've got my photo of the cat and then i've got it sitting down and i've just said a fluffy cat stops walking and sits down and so that's that's the result that i'm getting um 
little bit of movement in the back there. That's just because I've got my photo sizing wrong, but apart from that, it's coming out quite good. Just looking over at my last one here, this is probably one of my favourite ones. There's this alien looking up at a spaceship and trying to find its way home. Um, very good cartoon effect. And so let's just look over at the workflow. Uh, just a close-up of the alien, then a further shot of it with the spaceship. And we've just got cartoon alien looks up at the sky as spaceship slowly flies in from the right-hand side screen. So yeah, that's, that's a great result there. So yeah, have a go at this. There's no changes really. If you did my last... Um, one 2.2 workflow um, you've got that going you you just have to uh, drag this workflow in and it's it's just ready to go um, you do have to update Comfy UI um, for that node but apart from that it'll work straight away just upload your images and see what results right in the comments um, if you haven't subscribed please do that